Minnesota, Minnesota's interesting, but they've got some guys there who who would certainly maybe Anthony Edwards more than anybody else could be the breakout star. And you just look at the Kings and you go, man, when you look at the bad basketball teams, they're all lacking a star. Memphis is probably the closest comp to Sacramento in that Ja Morant looks like he's ascending to be. It looks like he's going to be the guy. I, I would argue he's not there yet, but he's very, very close. But that's like a perfect makeup of guys. When you don't have a star, you have to have a perfect makeup of guys. And that's why it this it feels like that's why this team continuously falls so short is that they don't have it. Actually, they can't I'll, find the perfect mix of guys. There is one team that you missed. And I think if you look at the one team that I'll point out, it, it if if De'Aaron could be Donovan Mitchell and you could have a Rudy Gobert and a Joe Ingles and a Bojan and then a savvy veteran point guard next to him, that's like if I swap those two out and I put De'Aaron Fox on the Utah Jazz, then they cover every single one of the issues that you might have. You've got the shooting. You also have four other guys that can pass. But I looked then, at Donovan as a star, though. Like well, I'm looking like, at him as a star because he's playing in a, on a team that allows him to be a star. That's why. Like, I, I mean, I, like, I think that if, if you were to switch him and De'Aaron out, I don't think that there would be that much of a difference. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think that De'Aaron could do a lot of what Donovan does. And he, again, Donovan's not a great three point shooter. He pulls up from the mid range. He doesn't. And, you know, like, I think the difference between them, the two players, isn't that great. But the fact is that one team has like the defensive player of the year and some of the greatest role players in the game all around him. That's the difference. You have so many guys that can step up and field the questions that we keep asking De'Aaron to field when, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Utah has like six different dudes that can step in and field those questions and that can be that leader for 